Hello fellow Techners By watching this video you're going to be able to punish the shit out of Anna Williams I'm going to go through all of her moves You're going to find out when to use back 1-2 You're going to find out how to do wild fries in 2 You're going to find out when to sidestep and you're going to find out how to break every single one of her throws so without further ado let's get on with it Anna's rage art can be ducked and punished with any of the wild rising punishments so let's put it into action duck now punish with wild rising too and follow it in whatever combo you like Anna's rage drive is safe leave it alone unless you're far away you can sidestep it to the right Move number three is safe, unless you know a way of punishing it, in which case let me know in the comment section. Move number four has got two highs and a low. Low parry that low and follow up with a combo. Something like that. Move number five is all highs, duck the final one and punish with any of the Wild Rising 2 combos. This move is all highs, duck the final one and punish with Wild Rising 2. Move number 7, the final hit is a low which can be low parried. And then follow up with a combo. Move number 8, jab low kick, ends in a low so low parry and follow up with a combo. This is once again on Wild Rising 2 combo. Move number 10, the final hit is a low, so once again low parry. Number 11 is a 1 1 2 punishment. Move number 12 is a trap, she's waiting for you to mash, in which case, if you do, you'll be punished for it, especially if you hit her with a low. Move number 13 is duck after the first hit and whilst rising too. Move number 14 is another low parry. Move number 15. Move number 16 you can duck the high and twin pistons. So you get a counter hit out of it. Wild Rising 2 again. 18 is low parry yet again. Move number 19 is safe unless you know better, in which case comment in the box below. Move number 20 is a trap. If you do a low you'll automatically be punished for it so I suggest you leave this alone. Move number 21 is 112. Move number 22 is 112. Move number 23 is down forward 44. Move number 24, if you're really fast, you can electric launch this for a full combo, but if you're not, like me, then down forward 1 plus 2, forward 4 and 4. Move number 25 is back 1 2 punishment. Move 26 can be interrupted after the second hit. Back after the second hit and well frozen too. Move number 28 is 1 1 2. Move number 29 can be punished with 1 1 2. But don't do any kind of low because she will reverse it and you'll get punished. Move number 30, after the first hit use magic 4 to counter hit and then you'll be able to combo off it. Because you recover slightly quicker than her. Move 31, duck the final high and punish with Wild Frozen 2.
Move number 32 is whilst rising 4-4. Four four. Move number 33 is a side step left after the fourth hit. And follow up with the combo. Move number 34 can be interrupted with Twin Pistons when she does a high. Move number 35 is safe-ish, leave it alone. Wild Frozen 2 punishment. Move number 37, you can see the low coming, so low parry it. Move number 38, Dr. High and Wild Frozen 2. Another Wild Frozen 2 punishment. Move number 40 is quite slow, you can react to the low by uh, doing a low parry. Another Wild Frozen 2. Stop the high and Wild Frozen 2, it's getting a bit boring now. Stop the high, Wild Frozen 2, this is getting really familiar. Move number 44, block the low and turn pistons. Move number 45, if you've got a hard read you can sidestep it there. Other than that, leave it alone, it's safe. Move number 46 is 112 punishment. Side step right and punish. Move number 48, you can see the low coming, so low parry. Block the low and then spin piston. Stay down, spin piston. Move 51 is safe, it leaves you in minus frames. And when she does her stance, definitely don't do a low because you'll be punished for it. Let's see how that looks. Automatic punishment. Move 52 can be sidestepped in either direction. Or you can punish her and get a counter hit for a full combo. If you're really fast enough, you can punish it with an electric. If not, down forward, 1 plus 2, followed up with forward, forward, forward. Five step left and punish. Move 55 is Wild Rising 2 punishment. Move 56 is Twin Pistons. Move 57, you have to block the low, then quickly get up, block the mid, and while rising 4 4. Move number 58 is at back 1 2. Move 59, block the low, and punish with whilst rising 2. Move number 60 is 1 1 2. Move 62, just don't do a low, anything else will do. Wild Rising 2. Side step right. Move number 65 is back 1 2. Move 67 is safe, unless you know how to punish it, in which case, let me know in the comment box. Move 68 is back one two. Move 69, go for a low parry. If you miss it, be ready with twin pistons. Combo City. I have no idea what the punishment for move 71 is. Move 72, in theory you should be able to do 1-1-2 one, one, but because of the pushback you can't so leave it alone it's safe. 
Move 73, if you can predict it, then Duck can punish you whilst rising too. So you won't be able to predict it. Move 74 is safe, leave it alone. Move 76, you need to sidestep after the first two hits to the right. Move 77, you can sidestep right. Can opener is a low parry. Pay your electric bill on this. Move number 80 is safe, leave it alone unless you know otherwise. Move 81 is Wild Rising 2. Auto and Piston. Back 1 2. Move number 83 is safe, so leave this alone. If you know how to punish it, leave a comment in the comment box. Move 84, you can sidestep right. Sidestep left. Punish. Move 86 is safe, leave it alone. Move 87 is Wild Rising 2. Move 88 is Back 1 2. Move 89 is Back 1 2. Wild Rising 2 again. Move 91 is also Wild Rising 2. Move 92 is also Wild Frozen 2. Move 93 leaves a lot of distance between you, so it's safe, leave it alone. Move 94 is sidestep right. Move 95 is a mid, which can be sidestep right. Move 96 is back 1 2. Move 97 is 1 1 2. Move number 98 is safe, leave it alone because she goes into a judgement stance which means if you try to do a low, it will automatically be punished. Like that. Move 99 can be side step left. Twentieston. Wild Rising 2. Electric. Move 103. Electrics again. Move 104 is her sidestep move. So when you see her sidestep, get ready for low parry. Move 105. If you notice during the match that she's pulling this move off, then when you see her sidestep, do a back step and get ready for punishment. Move 106 is side step right. Okay, her first throw, which is move number 111. This can be broken by pressing either one or two. That's one, that's two. Throw break number two, move 112. This can also be broken by pressing one or two. That's one, and that's two. Throw break number three, which is move 113. This can also be broken by pressing one or two. That's one, that's two. Throw break number four. This can also be broken by mashing one or two. That's one. That's two. Throw break number five, which is move 118, has to be broken by pressing one plus two. Throw break number six, which is move 119, has to be broken by one plus two. Move number 120 is her reversal. This has to be chickened, um, but I don't know how to do it. If you know, let me know in the comment box. It automatically 
reverse it. Number eight, which is move number one, two, one. This can be broken by pressing two. Break number 10. This can also be broken by mashing two. Throw 11, which is move 124. This can be broken by mashing two. Row number 12, which is move number 125. This can be broken by mashing two. Throw number 13 can be broken by mashing two. Throw number 14, move number 127. This can be broken by mashing two. Throw number 15, which is move number 128 this can be broken by a mashing two throw 16 which is move 129 this is also a two break so to sum it all up you should have realized that Anna Williams you've got a lot of moves that you can do while fighting two on You've got a lot of moves where you just press the low parry button and low parry, which is just down forward. And then majority of her throws, you can just break them by pressing two. And also she's got a lot of moves which you can sidestep in either direction. She's got like 10, which you can sidestep in either direction. She's got about three, which you have to sidestep right and she's got like two which you have to sidestep left so all the best with battering Anna Williams